practice. We're going to continue with problem 5 from the chapter 2 fundamental problems. And it's going to be a little bit different now. Now we get to more challenging stuff. Um, in this problem, we're giving you know, some force of 450 pounds acting vertically downwards. All right, so in the negative J direction. And it's acting on this uh, frame over here. Okay, and we know that because we're taking statics, this is a statics course, we know that all the forces at A, the summation of all those forces, equals zero. So we're going to do the same thing that we've been doing, uh, drawing the force triangle, trying to get all the angles correctly, and we'll go from there to solve using the sine law or the cosine law. All right, so if we pull this down, okay, we pull the frame down with this 450 pounds, it's most likely going to compress member AB. So when we compress it, we're going to, compression, you always want to draw it into the pin. Okay. So we'll call this AB. And then this side, AC, is going to be in tension. So we're going to do, do, draw it away from the member, or sorry, from the pin. We'll call this AC. And now we're going to do a force triangle. Okay, so to do a force triangle, we already know that all the forces, so here we're not getting a resultant force. We're doing AC plus AB plus that force that we already have equals zero. The summation of forces on A all equals zero. Okay, so we're just drawing um, three vectors. So we're just going to draw like A plus B plus C. It all has to come into a circle, okay? Think of the recycle symbol. All right, so we know that we already have the resultant force of 450 pounds. Sorry, not the resultant. We already have this force of 450 pounds, okay? And now what we want to do is draw force AC and AB, okay? We know that AB... And the vertical of 450 pounds makes an angle of 40, uh, 45 degrees. Okay, so we're going to draw 450 pounds plus member, let's just go like this, member A, sorry, force AB. Okay. AB, and we know that this is 45 degrees. Plus... AC, okay? So AC is has to end here. The tip of it has to end here. So, you know, our force triangle is going to go 450 plus AB, somewhere there. I already drew AB, plus, plus AC, okay? And now... That gives me like a full loop around, okay? And that means all the forces just add up to zero, right? Because there's no resultant force. I started here and I ended here, so no resultant force, okay? Now let's see. A uh, AC and AB make an angle of 30 degrees, right? So we know like, we know that this here is 30 degrees which then gives us this angle of 30 degrees here, all right? So now we know this side is 450. We don't know this side. We don't know this side. But we know the internal angles here, 45, 30. So what the, what must this be? Let's do 180 minus 45 minus 30, and we get 105. Okay. And now we can just apply a sine law, okay? So we're going to do 450 over sine of the angle opposite to that side, right? 450, boom, 30, equals, let's do, let's just do AC, AC uh, sine 45, All right? That'll give us... That will give us a result of 636 pounds, 0.4 if you want, pounds. And then we can do the same thing for AB. AB, 
would be sine 30, right? A, B. Oh no, sorry. A, B, sine 105. Duh. 450 times sine 105 divided by sine 30. So that'll give us A, B is 869.3 pounds. Okay. So notice how here we just did a force triangle before, let, let, let me just clear this up. Before we did two vectors, so let's say vector A plus vector B gave us a resultant force, okay? So we did A plus B, and then we did our resultant force going this way, okay? Except now we, we're saying that the forces add up to zero. So let's say A plus B plus C plus plus D equals zero because there was all the forces combined have to add up to zero. That means we cannot have a resultant force. Okay. So it's like A plus B plus C plus D all adds up to zero because there's no resultant. I I just want to clear that up. That way you guys don't struggle with that. All right. So yeah, so force triangles, these are very basic. You probably learned this in your physics one laboratory. Um, it's just, it's, you just want to make a complete circle when, you, when you're adding up all forces that are up to zero, add up to zero. All your vectors must end where they started. All right, I hope this helps. I hope I was able to clear some confusion up if you had it. So AC was 636.4 and AB was 869.3. All right, hopefully I get to do more of these later on. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys learned something. If you have questions, just ask down below. Thanks.